we're going to cover a lot, but all about a particular topic. We're talking about pin tumbler locks today. They're the most common locks that you're going to find in most places in the world. There's a lot else out there, of course, but this course will primarily focus on the traditional pin tumbler lock. We're going to explain what all the different parts of the lock are, how to disassemble them, repin them, reassemble them, which will give you a good hands-on sense of how that lock works, so you'll be able to quickly pick up the basics and, and understand what you're doing inside the lock when we talk about lock picking. We're going to talk about the manipulation of the lock with lock picking, and additionally, what each tool in a lock picker's tool set does for you, and different methods to use each one. Because my background is in competitive picking, I'm going to talk a little bit about competitive picking as well, because I think it's exciting, I think it's a great way to learn and grow in the hobby, um, and because I have a couple of tips and tricks that I think that I can offer as well. Finally, we're going to be talking about some advanced features of locks, different security pins, things like that, and failure modes. And failure modes are particularly important because I want you to understand how locks break and what you can do in situations when locks do break. We won't cover every possible one, but a few of the big contenders. So, with all of that said, by the end of the course, hopefully you'll have a very solid understanding of pin tumbler locks and be able to see the tip of the iceberg for all of the different, more advanced and different concept locks that there are out there. I think you're going to enjoy it.